Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking a look at the Benefit Cosmetics Soft and Natural Brow Kit, which comes in this really cute metal tin and it's got four different things inside of it. Three products, including a full size of the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, a full size of the High Brow Highlight and Lift Pencil, a mini size of the Ready Set Brow 24 set hour setting gel, which is just a clear gel. And then it comes with a stencil, well, a couple different stencils, a stencil holder, and then these tips and tricks with how to use everything in the kit, which is a cool idea. So the stencils have two different stencil forms, I guess, arched brows and straight brows with two eyebrow shapes each. Personally, I'm not huge on the stencils, but I do have to say if you're looking for a stencil, this is a really smart design. Here's the stencil holder and you just slide the stencil in and then you hold it up to your eye, if I can put it on the right eye, there we go. And basically you just focus on drawing the bottom line, which is really smart. Here is highbrow, it's just kind of a pinky, peachy skin color highlight, I guess, and it blends out really softly. And my favorite here, the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. The really cool thing about this pencil is the shape of it. So it's kind of a diamond shape and you can really easily fill in softly and also get a nice precise line with the pencil. And on the other end, it has a spoolie so you don't need to carry a separate tool or anything, which I really, really love. I think that's really smart. The pencil blends out really nice and soft. Now this color is 06 Deep which is the dark brown to black one. Finally, the Ready Set Brow. Personally, I'm not crazy about the tip. It's got like a short end and a long end. I don't know, I don't really get it. Just give me a normal spoolie and I'd be good to go. Now I'm just gonna fill in my brows here, first using the Goof Proof Pencil, and then blending and softening everything out. I really, really love this pencil. And like I said, this is the color 06 Deep. Next, going in with highbrow, blending that out with a Q-tip. This kit is $44, and if you bought everything individually, it'd be about $80, and the Goof Proof Pencil alone is $30. So to me, this is a no-brainer great deal, especially if you wanna try out some of those other products. So I'm gonna wear this all day, take you throughout, and we'll see how it performs and wears. All right, so it's 11.30 at night. It's quite a bit later than I expected to be wearing this makeup, but here we are. And let me give you my final thoughts on this product. I've decided to streamline my reviews a little bit, make them a little bit more controlled, I guess. And you guys know I love Makeup Alley. I have a link down to my profile down below. And when you write a review for Makeup Alley, they ask you a couple of questions about the products, like your overall review, the price, and would you repurchase it, as well as the packaging. So I'm gonna start answering those questions at the end of my reviews, just to kind of, you know, get a more um, finalized thought. My overall rating is, it's really great. Um, you can see, it was really easy for me to fill in my brows. I love the shape of the Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil. I love that it's really easy to get a sharp line and also fill in, and also fill in the front of your brows. It's just incredibly easy to control and to work with. And unlike my Maybelline Define a Brow, I find that one you can get a little bit harsh and do a really solid line. With the, with the Benefit Pencil, it's a little bit easier to do a softer line and kind of blend things in. And I love the spoolie at the end of the Goof Proof much more than the comb on the Define a Brow. Spoolie versus comb here. In my hand, in my opinion, um, a spoolie wins over a comb every day. This is a little bit harder to smooth things out where this one, it actually really blends things out very nicely for you. Would I repurchase the Goof Proof brow pencil, absolutely in a heartbeat, I love it. 
the clear gel. Um, overall, my eyebrows are still well in place. Um, you can't really like push them straight up and it doesn't make them super crusty. So overall, I do like it. Um, I do like a tinted gel a little bit more than a clear gel, but um, overall I was happy with the product. Probably wouldn't repurchase it, but I'm not disappointed with it at all. And again, the packaging is adorable. Can't knock that. Highbrow. Um, I'm not super crazy about highbrow. Um, I think it still is on my brows, although I'm a little bit greasy, so it's a little bit hard to tell. My big issue is that if your brows aren't super tidy and you've got a little bit of stray hairs underneath, it kind of picks up on those stray hair and you have a harder time blending. It kind of gives them a white cast. So personally, I prefer a powder rather than this like creamy, thicker pencil to highlight under your brows, but I will still continue to use it and um, experiment with it. And yeah, if you're freshly waxed and you have a really clean line under your brows, it's gonna work just fine, no problem. And it does seem to last and blend in very nicely. The stencils and the stencil holder. So usually I hate, hate stencils. This is kind of no extent, exception. I don't think I'm gonna be using these stencils, but the way you put it all together and hold it up to your brow and just draw under your brow, is really smart. I do like that. Um, I don't think I'm going to continue to use it just because I do get my brows waxed. It's $10 at a local place at my mall and I do it maybe every four to six weeks depending on my regrowth and um, they shape them really well. I don't tell them anything. I just go in there and they do what they need to do and they do a great job. It's cheap and um, that way I don't need to <laughs> worry about what shape my brows are gonna look like. They do it for me and I'm always happy with it. So I don't really need a stencil if you pluck your own eyebrows at home. Maybe that's something that would be a little bit more beneficial to you. And of all the stencils I've tried, the ones where you like hold it over your actual brow tend to be pretty poopy. So this one that you draw above it seems to be very well designed. Overall thoughts on this benefit brow kit. This again being the soft and natural one. My overall rating is freaking five out of five. It's amazing. Um, the packaging is amazing on all the products individually, as well as the tin can itself. Um, I'm gonna eventually take out this foam and just reuse this tin on its own. It's a really cool tin. I love packaging like this. You guys know I bought that, what was it? It was one of the <laughs> lip creams and I bought it for the packaging pretty much. Oh, I have it. You guys know I bought that hard candy velvet mousse and I don't really use this um, too often. It's not really my color, but I freaking love the tin it comes in. And this is very reminiscent of that tin, kind of natural, uh, kind of a retro feel to it. The only thing is when I open it up, I always feel like this should be a mirror and it's not. Not like a deal breaker or anything, but I just feel like it's kind of a missed opportunity there. It would have been a nice sized mirror and all your products are in there. So I don't know. It's still really cute and I really love it. Um, so packaging, definitely a five out of five. Price per value for this kit, all the products individually in this kit would be $80 Canadian, but this kit was $44 Canadian. So if you're interested in any of these products, I would totally recommend you try getting one of these kits instead of buying each product individually. Um, it can open up your mind to trying a product that you've never tried before, like the clear brow gel I would never buy separately, but I am pretty darn happy with that stuff. And uh, like you might fall in love with highbrow and it could be your new HG. So I'm all for trying new products and um, getting a exceptional value for your money. So they do make these kits in a couple different varieties. Um, they have a bigger and bolder brow kit as well as a defined and refined brow kit. They might have a couple others. But um, I kind of just went into this one blindly and I was really happy with all the products. Benefit is kind of killing it with their market game on brow products. They send a bunch of YouTubers on a trip. They send out tons of marketing packages. But I do have to say, without being sponsored or having received anything for free, um, especially that Goof Proof Pencil, it's really fabulous. I really do like it and I would really recommend you try it out if you haven't already. Um, this color works great for dark brown hair. It would work 
great for dark brown hair if you just need something cool. And I've also tried a few sample products in 3, which is a warmer medium brown. And again, it works just fine on my coloration. It's a little bit lighter, but still no problems there. So it's just a personal preference, but um, lots of options for Benefit and brows. Would I repurchase this kit? Absolutely, I would in an instant. And in terms of individual products, I would absolutely repurchase the Goof Proof Pencil. I probably wouldn't repurchase highbrow. And I probably wouldn't repurchase the clear gel because I do like using a tinted gel in case I'm in a rush or something. And the stencils, they're kind of like a moot point. I wouldn't, I didn't buy the kit for the pen stencils and I wouldn't repurchase or use the stencils anyway. But um, it's kind of neat to have and it's definitely a cool concept and I think it was well executed. So there is my look at the Benefit Brow Kit for soft and natural brows. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any experience, feedback, other products I should try from Benefit, leave them down in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about all of this. And check out my 500 giveaway video up here. I'm so close to 500 subscribers, so thank you very much. And what else? You can subscribe, you can comment, you can follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. I think that's everything. And anyway, I will see you all tomorrow in my next video. Bye.